Hi everyone and welcome to Ivanti Patch for Windows Servers. In this video I will be demonstrating how to use some of the more common API commands. So let's get started. First let me mention that an API overview video is available. That video is a precursor to this video and if you haven't already watched it I encourage you to do so. In this video I'm going to execute a series of API commands that build upon each other. I'll take you through the process of defining a couple of machine groups, scanning a machine, and then performing a patch deployment. The place to start, of course, is at a Windows PowerShell prompt. The first two commands that I'll enter will create two different machine groups, with each group in a different folder structure. To speed things up for this video, I've pre-typed the commands in a separate document so I can just copy and paste them here. There's our first machine group. And there's our second group. To verify that these commands worked, let me quickly switch to the program user interface and view the new machine groups. And, sure enough, the two new machine groups are now in place. Next, let's add a machine to one of the machine groups. The first thing I'll do is to get the credential that provides access to the machine. I can now use this variable to specify the credential parameter when adding the machine to the machine group. As before, let's switch back to the user interface to see what happened. As expected, the Demo Workstations group contains a new machine, and that machine has been assigned credentials. Next, let's run a patch scan against our new machine group. With the scan now complete, you can view the results from within the program in the exact same way that you view the results of scans that were initiated from the console. Here's the scan that we just ran from the API. And here are the detailed results. There are two missing patches. Let's take the missing Notepad++ patch and assign it to a patch group. We can do this using the bulletin ID. This command will create a new patch group named Third Party Patches. And this command will add the missing Notepad++ patch to the group using the patch's bulletin ID. Let's go check out the patch group. And sure enough, everything looks to be in order. The next step is to add that patch group to our custom scan template. I'll do that by selecting the patch group to be the baseline for this template. We are now ready to rescan our demo machine group using the updated scan template. I'll use dollar sign test to store the UID of the scan results. I can verify that this worked by displaying the output for dollar sign test. The final step is to initiate a deployment using the UID from the scan.
The missing patch is downloaded and the deployment is started. And that's it for this demo. To learn more about the API feature, please consult the API Quick Start Guide. For more information about Ivanti Patch for Windows Servers or any of our other products, please visit our product documentation page. Thanks for watching. Thank you.